welcome back again to another video this time we have a 2017 DAF CF85 Euro 6 and this one has a faulty header tank now <clears throat> it had red coolant warning on it coolant's topped up to where it should be um, on these header tanks you have a sensor like that that goes up through the bottom and then it's got like a uh, a magnetic thing that goes around so when the, the water is topped up that moves up and down to obviously get your level so they have a problem with sticking so it obviously, it's obviously stuck somewhere along there you could probably tap it and probably get it to move but you're only gonna have the problem again so we're gonna put a new header tank on this try and show you the best way and what needs taken off to do them it looks more complicated than what it is um, but let's crack on let's get it all stripped out get the water drained and then let's uh, get this header tank off. So first thing I'm gonna do is get the coolant drained, get the engine cover off, and then we'll be able to show you a little bit more of it. We obviously we've got to get underneath where the grill is, but let's get the engine cover off, the coolant drops, and then we can go further from there. There we have it, I've had the tank off. So, one circlet, it's just an 8mm, um, and do the plug, charge the sensor on. Little one here, it's like a pushing clip, push it together and pull it down. So, yeah, I'll try and show you where. So, you see these lugs here. This is where it slots into the frame on the front. And there at the front is where your 13 mil bolts go. So yeah, so when you put it on you, you've got the header tank, pull it back and then pull it up. So, pretty simple. Um, yeah, I can't hear anything moving, so I don't know what to show you. Looks show, will we not? But yeah, that's that. So we're gonna get the new one on, get it all bolted up, and I'll just do the reverse of what I've just done. So this is just to show you the difference, so. Cut 
can't hear the flow. Well, let's have a hold this one. It's the float moving up and down. So let's get this new one bolted in then. cover on it's a fucking shit it's been the whole job it's been that bastard back on getting all that and these lined up a fucking nightmare but i've got to pull them pipes back through properly and then we'll get let's get the engine cover on but yeah that's the most hardest bit of the whole job i'd say So if we're all plugged in, we should be all right. I'm just gonna... It's a good sign. What we're gonna do is wipe the heat up. Let that circulate for a bit. Recheck it again in a bit, but we're looking good. So that's header tank done. Uh, it's not a bad job, like literally. The hardest bit is getting all that plastic back together, get everything all in line, getting the little screws in. So the kit you'll need, which I'll try and do in every video I'll do, 225 for the Torx bolts, um, Phillips screwdriver or flathead for the radiator to drop the coolant down. Uh, what else do we need? Eight mil, for the clips on the bottom hose. Uh, just some water pump pliers, some that small, just to pull the clips off all the other pipes. A 30 mil extension to get off the actual header tank to undo the two bolts at the front. So like I say, it's not a, not a bad job. All I will say is when you do, re when you replace it and you have the older header tank, keep the cap in it because they can be so handy even if you, you some people use them for pressure uh, you know pressurizing systems but put their own bits in to be able to pressurize it they're handy just to keep caps and you never know when you might need them so yeah that's topped up i bled it all through uh, leave the heater on full let it bleed through and we're all good so nice technically simple job but uh just fiddly that's literally all it is with this just fiddly um but thank you very much for watching another video I hope you're enjoying them. Um, if you can think about subscribing, I really appreciate it. And I'll hopefully see you all in the next video. Take care.